Good afternoon students. This is going to be a practical session on preparation of Krebs set. And as we have already discussed in the last theory class, Krebs set is one of the uh, traditional dishes which was served from a Geridon trolley. A Geridon trolley typically is a trolley which is pushed along and brought to the guest side and hence requires high amount of skills for performance of this dish. The Geridon trolley used for Krebs Suset would be a flambe trolley and this session should be lasting about 20 minutes of time. A student is expected to be able to prepare Krebs Suset given a standard recipe. A student should also be able to prepare and appreciate the, the sauce that is used in preparation of this dish and enthrall guests in a training restaurant by his skills on a flambe trolley. So, to begin with, we have to introduce the different equipments and the mise en place that's required for preparation of this dish. What would the mise en place be? This was already sent across to you in form of the recipe. However, we have everything here. We have a flambe pan, some already prepared crepes, oranges that have been diced, a little bit of lemon juice, some butter, sugar, alcohol. Now, the, for this particular dish, we need a orange flavored liquor. According to many recipes, Gramania was what was initially being used, went on to become, become Cointreau or Triple Sec. Any of these, this is a bottle of Triple Sec that we are going to be using today. We also need for the flambeing part, this is for the sauce and for the flambeing part, we need some brandy. We would be using a local brandy for the flambeing. We have prepared and kept some ready-made orange juice. It can be a fresh orange juice as well. Some sanitizer on hand always, as well as a dustbin to put away the dirties. Some paper napkins always useful, a chopping board to be kept and cutlery sufficiently to be there which could be in form of a service spoon and service fork as well as a measuring uh, for a measuring uh, device since as I said the trolley is going to be taken around to the customer or the guest we need to be we need to be very clear that it should be very clean and hygiene is maintained at the highest level. So should we start? Thank you. Let's start sanitizing ourselves first. So a little bit of sanitizer, important these days especially because wearing with you know, gloves might not be the greatest. At the very beginning let me tell you, if you look at different books, different recipes, there might be some variations. Books mention Gromania as the liquor to be used, other books say Quattro or any orange liquor. We are working with a triple sec which is absolutely fine in terms of preparation of the dish. So please do not get uh, confused as to why our standard recipe says something little differently. They are being used, for example, today that I am using lemon juice. That's typically to add a little bit of astringency to the dish. Some, some uh, hotels use a little bit of honey to give consistency to the sauce as well. So that depends from establishment to establishment. So, let us now start on and since we are going to be using fire, always be careful that you should not be wearing anything that is synthetic or you should not be wearing ties etc. while you are working on, be comfortable and be in a position so that the hazard is taken care of. well heated so we will keep it on for a period of time and uh, a typical flambe dish or any dish that is served from a flambe uses an attraction to all five senses we told you about impulse buying now what is impulse buying to make guests buy when they had not had an intention when they came in or no plans initially so some sort of a noise, some sort of a smell, some sort of color, some sort of a flambe etc. adds value to it. 
So being a very silent person need not be so. You can make the occasional noise so that you attract the customer. However, it should not be a noise person. It should be something that is soothing all around. So as we are using a pan which is non-stick, which is traditionally considered better, now you need to ensure that when the butter goes in, there is a little bit of a sizzle that comes on. So let's ensure that the heat is there and there on. So it's getting sufficiently warm now and not much, say about 10 grams of butter should be fine. And there is that nice little sizzle that's coming across, that should be going on. And ensure that it's not too hot because we know butter has a very low smoking point so it should not get burnt, that's very important as well. And let's coat the butter on. If the butter or while you are training any stage something burns, it is always recommended that we change and redo it, not to work with things that are not going on right. So this is getting nice and warm now. So what's the next stage? I need to have turned down my flame a little bit that I've done. And pick up the orange juice how much of orange juice about 45 ml to 60 ml of orange juice should be fine so let me take one part of it let me take about 60 ml there we are and to the pan we add the nice little sizzle so it's warm and nice that's good now to add a little bit of astringency, I shall be adding about 5 ml. 5 ml is 1 teaspoon, correct? So teaspoon, just a 5 ml of teaspoon and in it goes there. For the sauce, we need some caster sugar. This is more or less to taste and to thicken the sauce as well. So I've added one spoon, of course, offer some sugar dredger to the guest so that he can further add sugar if he thinks. Now we are leading ourselves towards the sauce being prepared. Let the sauce get prepared. And as it happens, we need to now be ready with the pancakes. Now what do we do with the pancakes? We take a pancake up. Now this requires a little bit of a skill. Pick up a pancake put it in there as the sauce cooks slowly let it nice and be we take some already diced oranges and put it into the pancake now be careful that you don't over stuff the pancake with oranges let the juice get the sauce now what do we do with the we turn it over into half there and again into one third there. Now this requires a little bit of a skill and some practice and our pancake is ready to go into the sauce now. My sauce is getting ready. In the meantime, as the sauce gets ready, I should be ready with my triple sec. How much did we say it was? 20 ml. So now, Measure 20 ml of triple sec. That's good. Have enough paper napkins around. I did keep it there so that my area can be kept clean. And now the sauce is quite thick. So I take it off, pick up my spoon and fork, hold the pancake put it into the sauce. This is an important stage that it goes in, sits there and now I flavor it with the triple sec on it. There it goes. That's nice and it takes in the flavor and as it cooks there I take out another 30 ml of the brandy. This is typically only for the flaming part of it. Use a second glass. 20 ml to 30 ml is good. My flavor in the pancake has come. 
so I take it to this corner and now I come to the last part of it which is the flambeing part now keep an eye here as I allow the pan to get hot now always tilt it away the sauce is done and ready it needs no change now so the other end it has to become crisp and brown and as the sugar caramelizes is when the flame should be come on, uh, coming on and remember a good flame will either rise at least one feet to one and a half feet and that's what attracts everybody already nice smell of butter and the sauce coming in and now it's nice ready there take the pan off put it there and now there it goes and keep shaking let this fire go off and let the crepe cook well in the sauce take some of the sauce on top sauce is ready and in videos what I showed you exactly what is formed here pick it up place it into the plate there we did it take the sauce on let the sauce go in there's a nice flavor on and look at the sauce also not too much of runny sauce pour it in the sauce should not be too runny and the texture should be nice and fine how do we garnish it Take a little bit of caster sugar and have it going slightly on top there. The dish is nine. Have your mask ready, pick it up and you are ready to go. This is a spoon and fork, if not a foot, should also be available with you. Otherwise, you are ready to go for the service. Thank you very much. I hope you have appreciated how a crepe sauce is typically prepared from a flambe. Thank you so much.